Hi all, my name is Lee and welcome to the channel. So today I'm going to be talking about where can I buy a milling machine in the UK? Uh, because I'm looking to get a mill. So let's get to it. So on my research, it appears that all hobby mills and lathes and machinery come from two different Chinese manufacturers. One is called Weiss, or is it pronounced the German way, Weisser? I don't know, please let me know. Uh, and the other one is Sieg. So these are the two hobby grade uh, manufacturers, both based in China. Of those, there's a couple of different resellers in the UK that actually sell the various different models from both of those companies. So for the Weisser machines, it's Warco, uh, Amadil, and I found another one online called MVO Engineering. They only sell one model, uh, but it just happens to be uh, possibly a model that I would purchase. Uh, for the Sieg machines, it appears the two main uh, resellers in the UK is a company called Arc Euro Trade and uh, quite a popular high-end tooling company called Axminster. Now, the Axminster models seem uh, a lot more expensive than the Arc Euro Trade models, so I probably wouldn't go that way anyway. What I've actually settled on though, is I'm going to go for a Weisser machine, and the model seems to be a VM25L. Uh, that seems the best compromise between physical dimensions and power. Uh, because as you can see, I don't have a lot of room in the, uh, in the workshop, uh, and I've started clearing away because the, the milling machine will go there. So of these three different companies, the one I've decided to go for, purely based on cost, because they all seem very similar, is actually the model from Amadil, and they seem to use the same uh, model naming convention uh, as the Vicer Direct Web Store. Uh, so they call theirs the VM25L, and uh, I believe that is exactly the same model that you'll see on the uh, Weiser or Weiss uh, website. Uh, so also, uh, with the milling machine, I've also read that you should really get the DRO and also the power feed. Uh, so I was just going to get the, the lowest model, but after looking at a lot more YouTube videos and other people's experience online, um, it seems that whereas with a, a lathe, the DRO can be quite a luxury, although I've actually fitted a DRO to my lathe and it makes life so much easier. Uh, but for a milling machine, it seems that's pretty much essential today. Uh, so I want to get the DRO factory fitted. Uh, the other thing I wasn't too sure on was the power feed. Uh, and again, after looking online and looking at YouTube videos, it seems it gets very tiring very quickly when you're trying to crank the handles on anything more than a, a couple of centimeters worth of material. So I didn't want to spend the money because the, uh, uh, the automatic power feed seems overly expensive at like two or 300 pounds, um, but it seems it's the best option and it also comes factory fitted. So if you were to look online today and you go to the Amadil store, you will see that they are getting the VM25Ls in early next year. So this is Christmas, December 2022, and Amadil say they're getting new stock of all of their milling machines at the end of January 2023, so in a month's time. And the specific model, I'm getting the VM25L, I'm getting the R8 model, because again, looking online, it looks like R8 is by far the most common tooling and it's much easier to buy R8 tooling. Um, I'm also getting the model with the DRO and the power feed fitted. So you can see my rough budget is roughly between two and two and a half thousand UK pounds. Uh, that's probably around $3,000, uh, a rough guess, or 2,800 US dollars. So that's what I've decided to go for, although there are some other options. Um, so MVO Engineering uh, do uh, a model called the VM25 as well, which I'm assuming is the same model as the Visa and the Amadil uh, VM25. However, their version of it 
although it looks cheaper and comes with a proper DRO, uh, it only has a 750 watt motor in it. Whereas the Amadil uh, and I believe the Warco one both have the one kilowatt motors. Now, I would rather have the bigger motor because everything I've read is just, when it comes to machine tools, bigger is always better. I don't know how that true is, but it's the physical dimensions that I have an issue with, not the power of the machine. I would prefer more power. So that's the reason I've discounted them. The only model they sell, which looks very good, um, is only a 750 watt model. Uh, whereas the Warco and the Amadil, uh, look to be the one kilowatt models. Now the Warco ones, as far as I can see, they don't quite match up to the same models on the, uh, the we uh, Weiss or Weiser Direct website. Uh, so I've been trying to compare the different powers, the sizes, just to try and get an idea of, of which is which for a comparison. Uh, but it's actually put me off a little uh, and also Warco seems to be out of stock and they've not put any uh, mention of when they're getting stock in on their website. Um, so that is why I've gone for the Amadil. They've said that they're getting stocking in a month's time and I'm getting the VM25L R8 model with both the DRO and the power feed fitted. And um, I'll be sure to give you an unboxing video, an initial setup video, uh, to try and help any other beginners out there who might be new to this hobby as I am. Um, so the next thing we need to talk about is what tooling do I need to go with my mill? Uh, now, of course, just to start, the first thing I need to order is a good quality milling vise. Uh, and in fact, I've already ordered one of those. Uh, it's sort of like a Kurtz copy. I think Kurtz is a big manufacturer in the US. Uh, it's a copy of one of those. I don't know how good it's going to be in comparison to the Kurtz, uh, but that's the milling vice I've ordered, a 100 millimeter one for this. Uh, the next thing I'm, uh, I also need is the R8 ER32 collets. So that's the way I've decided I'm going to do my tool holding. Uh, I'm going to get an R8 ER32 collets and a set of ER32 collets to go with it. Um, but what other tooling do I need? Uh, now I think the other thing I definitely need is some parallels of different sizes. So I'll need to put an order in for parallels. Uh, some of the other nice to haves, although I possibly won't need them straight away, um, will be things like uh, one, two, three blocks, V blocks. Um, Possibly I think I might need to order a clamping kit almost straight away as well. Uh, but there's so many different tools I've now realized I might need to go with this milling machine. If anyone has any other advice of what I may need or any other manufacturers, please comment uh, below uh, and let me know and, and let it be a bit of a discussion. Because I've had a look around and there isn't that much information about other than searching uh, on the web to find any UK information regarding these two manufacturers and their associated UK based suppliers. So hopefully uh, that will help some other people. Comments appreciated. Um, it's Christmas day tomorrow, so Christmas Eve today. I think I'm gonna do a quick lathe project just after Christmas. I'm gonna make a scribing tool, something that can easily be done in a couple of hours. So look out for that. And of course, as soon as I have more information on when my milling machine's gonna arrive, I'll be sure to make a video and film all of the unboxing and initial setup uh, in the hope that it does help other people uh, who are new to this uh, hobby. So with that, have a great Christmas and I'll see you soon. Cheers.